Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. So, let's go. Hi everyone. Flux render images are fine. And upscale is one of the most important steps with the new Flux model. Take a look at the quality of these images. There are two ways to do it, from a prompt or from a reference image. But in this video, I will add a replacement possibility. Let's see how to do it using Super Upscaler. First of all, we need to set up the flux nodes, the load flux, and the load flux quit. Alora loader if you want. And of course, node for VAE. You can now connect the nodes. So here, we create the setup to define the constant we need in this entire workflow. We can use any name you want. A node for resolution that why we need width and height. A the other for CFG. We will create all other in the concern block. So, we will now set up the NF4 nodes. Let's proceed by block to keep it clear. We will now set up the NF4 nodes. And for that, load the checkpoint loader in F4. I use any connect nodes for more flexibility. You will find all the necessary links in the video description. So, if you want to use flux model, all you need is to connect the flux model to model output and do the same for the clip. But in this video, I will use NF4. And with NF4, you don't need clip node or VE. It's all in one. To use flux, connect here. And for NF4, it's done. And now, we gotta load the heart of the workflow, the case sampler. So please follow the steps like I do. The case sampler need an empty latent and we need to get the width and height. The value for denoise and CFG. And the output latent. The block is done. And if you want to connect it with the model, you can. But I will use a basic pike for the replace mask. This will allow us to make adjustments to our images without redoing everything. We load the basic pipe and a clip text encode flux with two empty text. We need two get constant nodes, one for the positive prompt and one for CFG and one at the end for output. Next, connect the positive clip with a get positive constant and use one for CFG. You can now connect the conditioning to the case sampler like I do. 
Now that we have all we need for the latent, let's set up the output image nodes. A VE decode, a preview image, a decoded latent to compare images, a save IMG node for saving, and a set constant to load the image input. That's all. Let's connect the nodes. And once it's done, we need to set up the prompt block. Regarding prompts, we will use three nodes. The first for positive prompt. The second for negative prompt. And the last for tag that we will use for replacement. And all these need to be connected to the set constants like I do. So, we are going to set up Miyoshoi Tagger nodes. We load the Miyoshoi Tagger node, the Git Constant Image Input node, a Join Strings node, and a Git Add for Super Prompt. The Join String makes the two Git input for WD14 output. Miyoshoi Tagger for Comfy UI is an advanced image captioning tool based on the Microsoft Florence 2 model fine-tuned to perfection. This tool offers highly accurate and contextually relevant image tagging for your projects. This ensures that the tagging results are more aligned with the typical prompts used for generating images, enhancing accuracy and relevance. Then, we will use XL Lightning and XL in painting through a basic PIP. SDXL Lightning is a lightning fast text to image generation model. It can generate high quality 1024px images in a few steps. SDXL in painting is a latent text to image diffusion model capable of generating photorealistic images given any text input, with the extra capability of in painting the pictures by using a mask. This is for the replace process setup. So please do like me and load all the necessary nodes for this block as you can see on the screen. You have to connect all the nodes. Now we do the same for the in painting block. During this video, we will simply set up the nodes for the replacement block. This will be useful for us to remove defects from the generated images because this model does not achieve perfect photorealism. 
faces and people in general may not be generated properly. When the strength parameter is set to 1, the quality of the image is degraded. So, we will see the details of its use in a next video. Let's check the overview of our workflow and if all the nodes are connected correctly. Everything seems okay. So let's start the Supier setup. For the Supier block, we are going to use Supier AIO with basic pike, a git image, and be coded latent for output image, a git constant for Excel pike, one for upscale model, and other for Supier prompt and one for negative prompt. I use the 0QFP16 Supier model. Make sure to connect all the node as I do. So, and now, the last block setup. We need any replace node, the git and paint input with the clip conditioning. A git image input with a preview and decode latent for output. We connect all. Then the workflow is ready for use. Let's try it! Since the generation and rendering time is quite large compared to the length of the video, I share directly with you the results of some tests. So, as you can see, it is a generation of a tiger. Let's see the difference between the image generated in NF4 directly and after upscale with Supier. This is the result with an animal prompt. What about a human prompt? This is a women prompt. And as you can see, the level of detail is clearly visible on the mouth, eyes, and even the hair. Look at the mouth and the skin details.
Look at the eyes and the eyebrows. Look at the hair. Let's try with other props with a different styles. Look at the mouth of the skin details. Look at the eyes and the eyebrows. Look at the mouth of the skin details. Look at the eyes and the eyebrows. We still have excellent results. The details obtained are surprising. The image is well corrected and without loss of precision and it make it more realistic. Look at the eyes and the eyebrows. The result is satisfied all levels of detail, even on the hat and the feather. Regarding the writing, it seems much clearer. That's all. The workflow is done. I will then let you set you of the project and test it yourself. To make it easier for you, I will put a workflow with the necessary nodes that you need. This will save you time. So keep in touch and see you soon. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. So keep in touch.